Welcome to the Poultry Battleground. In the world of meat production, profitability comes down to two concepts, speed of growth and final carcass weight. Today, we are pitting the two giants of barnyard protein against each other so that you, the backyard breeder or small producer, can make the best investment decision. On one side, we have the Cobb & Ross Chicken Genetic Lines, the undisputed champions of getting a product to market in the shortest possible time. On the other, the turkeys rise up, represented by the massive broad-breasted white and the bourbon red, betting on sheer meat volume and premium value. This comparison is vital for your personal project. Is it more convenient to get fresh chicken meat multiple times a year, or to wait for the turkey's large weight to stock your family freezer or generate a high-value sale? Does the extra effort required by the turkey justify the superior flavor of the bourbon red? We will break down these 20 key points to help you calculate the real profitability of your home farm. Chicken Presentation – Cobb & Ross The Cobb & Ross lines, both developed in the United States, are not breeds in the traditional sense, but the pinnacle of genetic engineering applied to poultry farming. Their sole mission has been to reduce the grow-out cycle to the minimum, converting feed into meat at a speed that was unthinkable 50 years ago. They are, in essence, the speed genetics that drives massive chicken production worldwide. The main lines of these brands, such as the Cobb 500 or the Ross 308, have been selected for explosive growth. Their bone structure, legs, and organs are designed to support such rapid weight gain that they are ready for the market in seven weeks or less. This model is based on rapid rotation, allowing you to sell many small batches throughout the year. Their dominance is such that, if you consume chicken in a fast food restaurant, you are almost certainly consuming one of these genetic lines. Their success lies in batch uniformity, high feed conversion capacity, and global availability, which makes them the industry benchmark for any poultry profitability analysis. Turkey Presentation – White and Bourbon Turkeys enter the battle with two completely different business models. On one side, there is the broad-breasted white turkey, BBW, the direct rival in volume production. This turkey is the result of decades of selection to obtain the largest possible breast, making it a bird of mass and high carcass yield. On the other side, we present the bourbon red turkey, the champion of niche profitability. Although it grows slower and does not reach the volume of the white, the bourbon red is a heritage breed valued for its intense meat flavor and its suitability for pasturing. This turkey competes not on volume, but on the premium price that the gourmet consumer is willing to pay. While chicken dominates the daily meal, the turkey is positioned in the high-end markets and holidays. By confronting them, we are comparing the BBW's industrial efficiency with the differentiated and superior value of the bourbon red, both representing the value genetics. Rules of the Battle For the comparison to be fair and useful for the home farm, we will focus on two fundamental metrics that go beyond industrial volume. The first is domestic efficiency, where we will analyze the time it takes to have the meat ready, how quickly your freezer is filled, and the management of space and feed. This is key if your space is limited, or if you seek to rotate your production frequently. The second metric is the final product value. Here, we consider not only the weight, but the intrinsic quality of the meat. We compare the flavor and texture of the broiler chicken with the premium flavor of the bourbon red and the lean meat quantity of the broad-breasted white turkey. This value allows you not only to enjoy better meat at home, but also to obtain a better selling price by offering a superior product to your neighbors or local markets. The final objective of this video is to help you identify which bird best fits your lifestyle and needs. Are you looking for quick rotation and daily consumption? Or are you looking for a large quantity of meat for special occasions and a high-value product to supplement your income? In the end, the winner will be the bird that offers you the most efficient solution for your resources and the meat you enjoy the most. Grow-Out Cycle The Cobb or Ross chicken is designed for an ultra-fast grow-out cycle, ready for market in about 6-7 to seven weeks, 42-49 to 49 days. This speed is the chicken's main competitive advantage, as it allows the producer to rotate their flock up to 7 or 8 times a year, maximizing the use of their infrastructure. The broad-breasted white turkey, although it grows tremendously, requires a much longer grow-out period, generally 18 to 20 weeks, 126 to 140 days, to reach the final weight of the males. This limits rotation to only two or three cycles per year. The bourbon red turkey takes even longer to mature. This point is crucial. A chicken flock gives you meat in weeks, allowing you to quickly respond to your household needs or sales. A turkey flock requires patience and a longer-term management commitment. Final weight. The broiler chicken has a low weight ceiling, averaging 5.5 to 6.6 .6 pounds, which is the ideal weight demanded by the daily consumption market. 
This simplifies processing, but limits the volume of meat that can be obtained per unit. The broad-breasted white turkey is a beast of burden, with males easily exceeding 33 pounds and females averaging 15 to 18 pounds. When selling turkeys, you sell fewer units, but the total volume of meat obtained per bird is immensely greater than the chicken. The consumption and sales strategy changes radically. With the chicken, you sell or consume many small units. With the turkey, you get one large unit for a family celebration or for a concentrated sale to a specific customer. Daily Growth Rate DGR. The Cobb or Ross chicken exhibits one of the highest DGRs in the animal kingdom in the first weeks of life, a testament to its hyper-efficient genetics. This aggressive DGR ensures that the producer meets the 42-day schedule, minimizing the time the feed is being consumed. The turkey has an excellent DGR, especially when measured in muscle growth, but the cycle is so long that the rate normalizes compared to the chicken's explosive peak. Its growth is more sustained and focuses on gaining volume, not pure speed. For the producer, a high DGR in chickens translates to lower disease risk and a greater challenge in managing leg health and the skeleton. In the turkey, the slower, though robust, DGR demands a much longer feed commitment. Initial Feed Cost The cost of a day-old chick, Cobb or Ross, is relatively low and uniform globally, making it an accessible entry point for any breeder. This accessibility reduces the initial investment barrier. The cost of a day-old poult, especially from the commercial high-performance genetic lines, is notably higher than that of the chick. This is due to the lower natural reproduction rate and the costs associated with the artificial insemination necessary for these lines. The capital invested in the initial animals is higher in the turkey. If an early loss occurs, the turkey breeder suffers a larger initial capital loss per unit, a key factor in managing the risk of your home project. Investment per square foot Given their small size and short grow-out cycle, chickens allow a high population density per square foot in the coops. This high density is essential for maximizing the use of existing infrastructure. The broad-breasted white turkey requires significantly more space per bird due to its size and massive weight, especially towards the end of the cycle. Insufficient density compromises health, and excessive density dramatically increases the risk of health problems and lameness. Chicken profitability relies on producing many units in a small space. Turkey profitability relies on producing maximum weight in the right space. For the home breeder with limited space, the turkey demands greater planning. Feed Conversion Ratio FCR. The FCR is the efficiency coefficient that separates the winners. The Cobb or Ross chicken has an exceptional FCR, generally around or less than 1.5, 1, meaning less than 1.5 pounds of feed for 1 pound of meat. This is the engine of its profitability. The turkey, due to its final size and longer cycle, has a slightly higher FCR. While it is extremely efficient in its early stages, the cost of maintaining a massive animal for additional weeks increases the final FCR. Feed cost is the largest expense factor in home poultry production. A slight advantage in the chicken's FCR translates into significant savings over the year, giving it a clear advantage in operational cost profitability. Carcass Yield Percentage The chicken offers a good carcass yield, but the turkey surpasses it in a key metric, breast meat yield. The broad-breasted white turkey is genetically designed to maximize this part, which is the most valuable to the consumer. The percentage of lean meat yield in the turkey can be higher than that of the chicken, making each processed unit offer more final product. The turkey is less bone and more muscle in proportion. This advantage is crucial if you sell by the piece. Although the chicken is cheaper to raise, the turkey can give a higher net weight return per bird, increasing the gross value of the carcass. Health and Risk Mortality the chicken, due to its rapid growth and high density, is exposed to a very high risk of disease spread. If a disease hits a flock, mortality can be catastrophic in a few hours. However, the short cycle minimizes the exposure time. The turkey is susceptible to unique health problems, such as deep pectoral myopathy, green muscle disease, and lameness, due to the immense weight its immature skeleton supports. The long grow-out cycle means the investment is exposed to health risks for a longer period. In terms of risk management, high mortality in turkeys is a more expensive initial capital loss, the poult is more expensive, and a loss of more invested feed, which gives the turkey breeder a greater financial risk. Labor Cost Labor for chickens focuses on efficiency and automation. Large flocks require constant monitoring of ventilation and feeding, but individual handling is minimal. The turkey, especially the broad-breasted white, requires more specialized labor, particularly due to leg problems and handling during artificial insemination. 
The bourbon red turkey, for its part, needs more labor for pasturing and outdoor management. The chicken is ideal if you are looking for a system that requires little time and basic labor. The turkey demands more skilled and attentive labor to the specific needs of the breed. Byproduct value. Chicken byproducts, feathers, offal, bones, have a solid and established market, often used for meat and bone meal or pet food. This market complements the total profitability of the poultry farm. Turkey byproducts are similar but in less total volume, given that fewer units are raised. The main difference lies in the specialized use of certain components, although the market is not as voluminous as that of the chicken. The breeder should consider the total income generated, and the chicken byproduct market, due to its scale, tends to be more stable and massive. Reproduction – The Big Turkey Problem The genetics that give the broad-breasted white turkey its massive breast are its reproductive Achilles heel. The muscle growth is so exaggerated that the males cannot mate naturally with success. This forces producers to use artificial insemination AI, a costly, laborious technique that requires specialized personnel. This cost of reproduction is directly transferred to the price of the day-old poult. In contrast, the chicken reproduces naturally. For the breeder looking for a simple, low-operating-cost system, the chicken's natural reproduction compared to the turkey's AI is an overwhelming advantage. Fertility and Egg Per Bird the layer hen of broiler lines is very prolific, with high fertility and hatching rates. This ensures a constant and massive supply of chicks for producers. The turkey hen has a lower laying rate and a shorter reproductive period compared to chickens. This reduces the supply of poults in the market, making the entry price higher. The relative scarcity of poults compared to the abundance of chicks creates a market dynamic where the turkey will always have a higher entry cost due to the limitations of genetic production. Meat value, price per pound. Chicken, being the poultry product for daily consumption, has a standardized and generally low wholesale price, operating with tight margins but at a large scale. The broad-breasted white turkey typically has a price per pound slightly higher than or equal to chicken, but the real value is found in the sale of the separated parts, clean breast, thighs, where its superior yield translates into a higher return. The breeder must calculate the return not only by live weight, but by the sale of the most valuable pieces. The turkey allows you to obtain a greater value from its primary product. The Niche Market – Bourbon Red The bourbon red turkey represents the high margin. Its meat is not sold at the price of industrial white turkey, but at a premium price in organic, slow food or gourmet markets. Although its growth is slow and its FCR is worse than the white turkey, the selling price per unit of a pasture-raised bourbon red can be two or three times higher than that of the industrial turkey, which compensates for the low efficiency. For the breeder with access to high-end local markets, the Bourbon Red transforms the volume business into a quality and high-margin business, competing for a consumption segment that neither the Cobb nor the Ross can enter. Processing Cost Packaging Chicken processing is highly automated due to the uniform size and low weight of the birds. Packaging logistics are simple and efficient for retail sale. The broad-breasted white turkey, due to its massive size, the adult male of the specialized production lines can reach up to 33 pounds while females average 15 to 18 pounds, requires a more robust processing plant and more difficult handling, whether selling it whole or cutting it into pieces. The handling cost per unit is higher. This logistical difference means that, to be profitable with turkey, you need strong integration with the processor or to be a processor yourself, while chicken is easier to transport and deliver to the slaughterhouse. We have seen the truth of production. The Cobb and Ross chicken lines win the battle of time and ease of management. They are the winning formula for anyone looking to constantly supply their home and have a quick and frequent source of income. The turkey, on the other hand, with its broad-breasted white genetics and the bourbon red niche, wins the battle of maximum weight and superior meat value. The winner, in the end, is you, if you choose the bird that best suits your resources and your patience. The key question for your farm is, do you prefer the consistency and speed offered by the chicken, or the big prize of volume and the unparalleled flavor provided by the turkey? If this battle helped you decide your next poultry project, hit like and subscribe so you don't miss the next analysis. In our next video, we will face the queen of milk, the Holstein cow, against its nine main dairy rivals. I'll see you there. For your success, fellow breeder, until next time.